it's your Thursday here on the Hour of Fashion. So this week's theme was mermaids and there's been this thing going around on like Tumblr and like Facebook and Instagram and all the social medias. That's been um, this unicorn hot chocolate and it's like a pink, white hot chocolate, white chocolate, hot chocolate. It's pretty good. It looks so nice and it's just really like pleasing and stuff. So I thought I'd make my own mermaid twist on it. Basically, I just did a blue one. But like, and mermaids are like generically blue aren't they like they've got the blue little tails so yeah here's how you're gonna make this if you want to make it so you're gonna want to start by making a bain marie which is essentially just a pan with boiling water with a bowl on the top and you're going to use this to melt about four five six depending on how big your chocolate is a few pieces of white chocolate milk chocolate whatever you're going for You also want to be careful not to burn your chocolate because then it won't taste as good. That's that's just the way it works, I'm sorry. And once that's all melted, you can, I, you don't actually have to do this, but I personally, what I was going for was to try and get scales along the edge of my glass, but it didn't really work. So I ended up just trying to like drizzle it along the sides it works a little bit it looked quite cool and like it failed but like it's all right because it looks like it was meant to even though it wasn't but if you are more artistic maybe you can use a piping bag or something and try and get scales to make it more mermaidy and then for a little more extra detail i placed my glass into the leftover melted chocolate and then put some edible glitter onto a plate and placed my edible my glass into my edible glitter just to give it a shiny little rim effect and it worked quite well i think give it a little twirl you know and then i put that in the fridge for about 20 minutes because you can skip the fridge but the white chocolate probably won't stay on the edge of the glass as long or mug or whatever okay so after my glass had been in the fridge for about 20 minutes i began to make my hot chocolate you could just go and use an actual like recipe thing like not recipe i don't mean recipe you could use like an instant hot chocolate but i thought this thought the recipe that i had for this one was nicer than instant hot chocolate so so to make the hot chocolate you're gonna want to empty your pan that you used earlier and then add some milk to it i used whole milk but i'm pretty sure you can use any milk You also want to make sure you only let it simmer. You don't want to let it um, burn because then it will go all gross. Then add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence extract, whatever you want to call it. I added four pieces of chocolate, but this was also quite sweet, so you might want to add a bit less. Then I added my blue food coloring to make it mermaidy. Then I went ahead and poured the hot chocolate into my glass. You might want to be careful of this if you are using glass though, because if the temperature change is too much, then the glass could shatter slash explode and you don't want that. So be careful. Well, this is the fun bit. So you're going to want to do this quick so that your whipped cream doesn't melt all into the chocolate, which as you watch this bit, you'll be able to see the whipped cream like melting down into the hot chocolate. So like I said, first of all you put whipped cream i just put a lot i mean you can put however much you want but i like a lot of whipped cream then i got some mini marshmallows and place them everywhere just threw them on then you don't this this bit you don't have to do but i got some glitter spray and i sprayed that on to make it more glittery then i got some blue and white and turquoise sprinkles and just sprinkled them everywhere just just to just get as much sugar in this as you can honestly then I topped it off with a straw. And that is the hot chocolate done. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do decide to make this hot chocolate, then you can send me a picture of it at my social medias. Mm -hmm that's not a word <laughs> at my social medias which are all Figot Flair P-H-E-G-O-T-F-L-A-R-E and that and that is also my 
youtube channel as well if you want to go check that out if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up down below subscribe to the arrow faction also check out all the other girls videos from this week we're all doing my makeup themes video oh, wow my mouth does not want to work <laughs> we're all doing mermaid theme 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 we're all doing mermaid themed videos i was also thinking about something that i should do at the end of all the videos i know i kind of have a little bit of an outro but i was thinking maybe if i do a joke at the end of every video i might start doing it with the themes but i don't really have a, a joke for mermaids right now so but i'm just gonna do it, say a random joke if this makes you laugh comment down below <laughs> What does a pepper do when it's angry? <laughs> I'm like a little whistle. Um, I guess jalapeno face. <laughs> like a jalapeno pepper. <laughs> oh, I love it. Like all up in your face, like jalapeno face. <laughs> if you have any jokes that you want, that you think are funny, please comment them down below and maybe I'll include them in next week's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to remember to celebrate life. Bye!